I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this section of In the News, I want to talk to you about a new drug that recently was reported in the news media, a drug called abiraterone acetate. This drug was developed in England, and it has the ability to block hormones produced, block the male hormones produced in the testicle, in the prostate, in other part, and in other parts of the body. What's unique about this drug, it has a different mechanism by which it works. This drug, abiraterone acetate, is converted to a drug called abiraterone that does this beneficial effect. And in preliminary clinical studies, it was able to lower the PSA level in men whose PSA was rising despite being on hormone suppression. So it suggests that even though hormone suppression is occurring, there still may be some hormones in the body that are able to stimulate prostate cancer growth. Now, it's still early to know whether this is going to be a truly beneficial drug to help men, men live longer. But it's good to see that a prospective randomized trial has begun internationally to enroll patients to receive this new drug plus a drug called prednisone or get a placebo and also get prednisone. So this double-blind study will be able to tell us when it's completed whether there's truly a benefit of this drug. It is exciting new information, but it's a little premature to say, oh, everyone ought to be taking it. That has to be tested properly. Now, for those of you who have a rising PSA and have progressive advanced disease, you may be a candidate to participate in this study, and you can go on local websites and find, if you type that in, abiraterone acetate, you'll be able to find centers around the country that are participating in that clinical trial. So this information is potentially exciting, but it's also a little early to know whether it's going to play the role that we hope. Thank you.